Hey there everybody, this is Ira and I'm back again with another new indie game. This one is called Seeds of Resilience. Uh, this one recently entered 1.0 full release. I think it's, it has, it's had some updates since then, as a matter of fact, right down here, version 1.0.8. Uh, so I think there's been some bug fixes and such. Um, I know that the people making this game worked really, really hard on it and it's a bit of a passion project, so I've already got kind of a, a positive uh, bias a little bit going into it because I love when developers really care about their games. Um, I have I've seen that on the Steam page at the moment the re reviews are mostly positive, but I have seen quite a lot of negative reviews, uh, largely from people saying the game is unintuitive and uh, difficult to learn how to play and that there's not a good enough tutorial and stuff like that. So um, I am actually going to do sort of a blind first look on this one. Uh, I had originally planned to kind of learn how to play first so that I could give more of a detailed review of the game, but since one of the main points of interest seems to be whether the tutorial is clear enough or not, uh, I thought we would just do the tutorial together. So I'll do that together with you lovely folks who are watching today, uh, and we'll see if the game is in fact intuitive enough, if it has been updated since those negative things were said, and to see how the game is played. So. Uh, as always, we just want to jump into the settings first. Uh, I've messed with the volumes a little bit just to, to turn it down a little bit. Um, so we've got separate audio settings, which is great. We've got a resolution, full screen, UI scale, which is also very good. Um, visually impaired users, I'm sure, will be very happy about that. Or people with really huge monitors might want a bigger UI. Um, could change the language. What other languages have we got here? We haven't. Okay. Oh, no, wait, we have. It was just slow to load. English, French, Portuguese, uh, German, Russian, Italian, Spanish. And I don't know enough about Asian languages, East Asian languages, to know which is which there, but a couple of Asian languages. So a lot of language options. So that's pretty cool. And it looks like we can rebind the controls. So that is all awesome so far. I'm going to go into the missions, because I'm assuming that this is where the tutorial is going to be. Uh, I did do the very, very first one. Yeah, okay, so this is the right spot. I did do the very, very first one just to make sure that uh, the game actually functioned and everything like that. Uh, I'm going to do this one again so that we can see how it works from the start together. Let's get right into it. I've been babbling for long enough. Um, I like the visual style of this game very much. I think it's really, really pretty. So here's our little survivor, stranded on an island with a, with a raft. And this is an interesting thing because you don't see your people, I guess, apparently. Like you just, um, you just see the map and your people are just kind of up on the corner. They're just kind of... Uh, Theoretical people, you know, abstract people. So we have objectives here, which I guess is the tutorial itself. Harvest blackberries by clicking on it. Mm. Clicking on them should be it's a minor nitpick. This action consumes work time. Okay, it's not explaining what work time is, so it could certainly be better explained, but maybe it's something we'll figure out as we go. So, okay, we have tooltips. Blackberry bush. Uh, click. Okay. I got some blackberries. Did I get them? Did I pick them up? I'm not sure. Um, I was blackberries. Yep, I did that. Do I just just keep doing that? Okay. So the tutorial could be better for sure. Uh, it could have been clearer. Like you need to harvest three blackberries. Like, you used every work hour of this character, click on the button in the bottom right corner of your screen to end the turn. Okay, so it's showing here, zero hours. Okay, I'm assuming H stands for hours. So I guess there's there's a, a, a finite amount of time that each character can work in a day. And I guess it's turn-based, which is kind of, I, I appreciate that. Oh, it's red now. Okay, that's good. So it lets you know you can't do anything else. That's cool. Okay, so do we automatically collect those berries? I hope so. I hope we do. So we click this to advance to the next day. And turn. Okay, night time. Day two. Year one, day one, turn one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, we've got Davram. Zero health points, plus zero health points, plus ten well fed, minus ten slept outdoors, but dressed warmly. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of factors in this. This is going to be very complicated. Time produced for the next turn, nine hours. 8 base, plus 2 well fed, minus 1 slip. Okay. Heart, plus... Looks like it's just kind of repeating the same things over and over again. Alright. Um, so wait, do we have these berries now? I'm a little bit confused about that. Let's see, let's see what the next objective is. Let's not try to jump ahead of the tutorial. Let's craft a pronged spear to fish. Start by harvesting a bamboo rod. Clicking on this. Okay, this is clear enough. I'm not dis I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied with this. You'll also need a string and get some by recycling the raft. Interesting. 
Sorry, Raft. Apparently, we're not gonna use you anymore. Okay, open the craft panel. You'll need the prong spear. You'll find the prong spear under the tools category. It's... Okay, craft. What are these other ones? Agriculture and build. I guess we're not allowed yet. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is gonna take a while. Alright, so I need tools. Are there tool tips? Okay, there are tool tips. There are tool tips. So, this is one of the things that I saw in these, these negative reviews that there weren't tool tips. So, it seems like the developers uh, read that and took it to heart and added tool tips. So, that's awesome. So, well done, developers. Tools. And I can indeed. Okay, there's no tool tip for this, though. I would prefer to have a tool tip for the tool itself. Okay. It doesn't, it doesn't craft it when you click it, it just opens. Okay. All right, so there's details there. As long as I can see what it is before I invest the materials, I'm happy. Perfect for catching fish along the coast. It's jagged shape, pierces the fish, and keeps it on when you bring it back. So bamboo and string. Craft. We got a spear. I guess this doesn't close automatically. I guess maybe you want to craft more than one thing at the same time. Now equip the, cra the pronged spear. Oh man, oh man, you guys, I can see, I can see this game getting very, uh, very, very in-depth. This, this seems like one of those games that would take a while to learn all the ins and outs of. Alright, so little fish, I saw a big fish, can I catch a big fish? I guess not. I don't have a way to get out there. Alright, so I click the little fish. Okay, I got a fish. So was the stuff that's just piled up on the beach just kind of stuff that I have? You can't tell how much you need it until you don't have enough anymore? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, close. Can I close that? No. How do I close this? Okay. That worked. Um, okay, fish to get three fishes. Get some energy by sleeping for a night if needed. So, I am out of energy, I think. So then we sleep. Oh my God, am, I, am, I, am I getting the hang of this? I'm getting the hang of this. This isn't so bad. It's a little intimidating because there's clearly so much depth to the game. But that's not a bad thing. It just means it's going to take some time to to get your bearings and get used to stuff. Uh, little fish? I do apologize, little fish. All right, I got three fishes. I had three. Oh, did I eat one of them, maybe? Oh, maybe I'm maybe he's automatically eating. He? She? Actually? I'm not sure. They are automatically eating. Wait, wait, I saw a pronoun. He. No, I didn't. I just saw has. I thought it said he. And it's fairly ambiguous, so we're gonna go with they. All right, so I guess I have to keep fishing. There we go. Victory, I did it! I did it, you guys. This character has already been unlocked, right? I did complete this once, but it was so long ago that I had already forgotten uh, everything that I learned. So now I have relearned it. Oh my goodness, there's so many. I'm not going to read all this, folks. It's just too much. All right, now we're going into to new territory. I have not uh, played this one yet. So now we've got two lovely peoples. And move the map around with the keyboard and the mouse. Okay. I was kind of hoping I wouldn't have to use the keyboard actually this time because I gotta reach around my, my microphone to do it, but Wazda is okay and zoo! Whoa! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, hope it didn't make any of you dizzy there. The crate hidden behind a tree. Hold down left control. Doing that and move the mouse around. Ah! Interesting. Got it. What was that? I'm gonna hide what was in it too. Blackberry bush. No, I, I want to see what the. Uh, not gonna, uh... Not gonna tell me what that is. Crate. Nope, I didn't wanna... I didn't wanna click the black crate bush. I wanted to click the item on the ground. Okay, I guess I can't. Alright, well, I need enough food to feed both of my characters. Now, I've got only one person up here. Or can I sw Okay, I can switch between them. So between the two of them, surely... We can collect enough food. Yay! Okay, start building our shelter. Harvest five fir branches. Uh, oh, I need to get the little ones. Okay, I guess I need an axe or something to get the big ones. So is that... I've got two of them. Now I got four. Alright, I'm getting two per little, little sapling. Then harvest two broom branches. Uh, Amelia's got two hours left. That's these ones. Broom. <laughs> okay. Is that two? It's two. Select the two-person shelter in the build panel, then confirm and place it down on the map. Build. Well, I'm gonna have to switch to the other character, right? Presumably. It is going to take... It's gonna take seven hours. We don't have seven hours, my friends. We do not have seven hours. Okay, so we will be starting to build it, but we won't be able to uh, finish building it. So it looks like... Okay, I like this. There's a choice of materials for the frame. No choice for the roof. Maybe that would change depending on... Uh, 
you're in a different biome. Maybe there isn't more biomes. I don't know. I don't know much about this game yet. All right, confirm. And we can build. Oh, look at this. Okay. I don't want to... I don't want to break anything. Right there? Okay. Spend the required time to finish the building. So... Yeah, use use all the all five of those hours because we don't need to use any of the time to get more food. We have enough food. Okay, so everyone's out of time, so I guess we go sleep. Go to sleep. We're sleeping outside tonight. We could sleep in a little lean-to over there. All right. Looks like everybody's slept outdoors. Slept outdoors but dressed warmly. So does this person not? Oh, hold on. Minus 10 health points, so you're not dressed warmly. Amelia. Amela. Not Amelia. The I is before the L. Amela. We need some... Some warm clothes for you. Can we build... Can we build clothes? Food? I mean, I know this is a tutorial. I'm not meant to build clothes yet, but... I guess not. Hmm. At least maybe not yet. Um... How did we... Here we go. Davram. Spend two hours, please. There we go. Select the shelter and assign your two villagers to it. My goodness, how many people do you wind up having? So hopefully they'll both be feeling better tomorrow. Now survive until day five, okay? Um, here's the thing. I wanted to catch some fish. Can I? Can't, because we don't have bamboo. So I can't make a spear. Nothing on here will we'll take the place of bamboo. What else can we do? Metal, stone, nothing. Absolutely nothing. So I guess... For, no, okay. It's a tutorial. We're limited. I guess I just gotta keep picking blackberries. Um, I hope we have enough blackberries for everyone. Okay, that's what these little things over here are. So this is telling me how much food I need, and how much is needed, and, and how much I have. And this is telling me how many characters are in houses. That is handy to have right there. I'm glad I spotted that. Um... Was it control? It was control. Uh, there's more berries over here. I don't know if these berries go bad, if I need to be saving them, or if it's okay to stock up. Can't do anything with the crate. Um, we just harvest more materials. I don't know if there's anything I can really do with them. There are bushes on, there are berries on there, but not very many. I'll leave that alone. Doesn't seem like there's much else I can do. Can't get the fishies. <gasps> Wait, there is jam a bamboo, bamboo. Ugh. <laughs> Words are hard. There is a giant bamboo, so I can. Wait, I need string. There we go. I remember what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I can catch fishies. Awesome. Cool. So I can catch a fish now? Oh no. Oh, wait, you know you need to equip it. There we go. I'm figuring it out. I have to say, I mean, uh, I can I can imagine this being really difficult to figure out how to play if there weren't tooltips, but there are tooltips, at least now. Um, even if there weren't before, there certainly are now. So, um... Yeah, I'm figuring it out. I'm, I'm not having a difficult time at all, and I'm kind of enjoying this. I do feel like it's a bit odd that we can't see the people. It says, what's wrong? Asocial. Well, what does that mean, though? Does that mean you don't want to be around other people, or does it mean that you are sad that you don't have more people around? I'm not really sure. Not really sure. We already have enough food for tomorrow. Should we just, like, take it easy today? Should we just take a day off? Maybe catch, catch a couple fishies. Yeah, just catch one fishy. I'm just like, go to bed. Let's just lounge around. Has some unspent action time. Do you really want to end the turn? Yeah. What am I gonna do? There's nothing to do. It's a very boring. This is this is the real problem of being stranded on an island, my friends. Uh oh. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> oh no, my shelter. Did you all see that? Oh man, my house. Can we build a new one? Do we have the materials? Missing branches. Was that random or was that pre-programmed? Are there any more of those little little trees? There aren't. 
We don't have any more. We can't build another shelter. We're boned. We're sleeping outside, friends. Um, let me give you this. Because your, your friend there needs a rest. Just need a more food. Um, I guess nothing we can do about the housing situation. Oh, man. Now, I am very curious. Does that happen every time in the tutorial? Or was that just real bad luck? Wait. There's the entry over there. I don't think that's enough, though. No, that's not enough. Right? No. One, we're too short. Too short. Well, shucks. Well, you better go to bed early, because, uh... Is there going to be wind again, or is that... I'm not sure how to read this display down here. Oh, is this seasons? This is seasons. We, we only have to survive until day five, right? <laughs> we don't have to survive any further, so as long as they don't die in the night. They have enough food. Hey, we did it! <laughs> Ooh, it was tough, but we did it. Svarog! Okay, you've got some stuff. That's fine. Okay, here we go. Social means gets one more- I guess I should read these. Gets one more work hour each night when sleeping with other villagers. So I guess the other one doesn't want to sleep with other villagers. Wants their own place, which is fair. I'm the same way. I would prefer my own place. But I mean, you know, we're on a shack. In a shack on a desert island. It's not a desert island, I guess. But an abandoned, an un uninhabited island. Very small one. Twice more drops from the crates. Oh, does it actually choose? Do you have to choose a specific character to open the crates with? I need to keep that in mind. Okay. Okay, um, now we need to build a waddle shack. This looks like a bigger island. Let's jump right in. I'm enjoying this. Like, this this is, this is a good game. Uh, again, it is really, really pretty, and I appreciate that. Um, do these folks' stuff carry over? Well, they don't bring their tools with them, that's for sure. Alright. I'm gonna search behind everything first, just in case. Alright, I don't think we'll get any crates on this one. Uh, harvest flax. Three flax. Okay. Person with the most energy. You harvest three flax. No, wait, 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 wait. This is a survival skill, right? You're adept at survival. I'm assuming this is leveling up your survival skill. What is this? Slept outdoors. Okay, well, I can't help you with that. Okay, uh, use flax fiber to craft some string. Hey! We can make string now. We did it! Craft a rudimentary axe. What do we need? We need some branches, we need a pebble, and we need a string. Well, we can get branches from one of the little trees. Right? Pebbles. Probably these right here. So, craft the axe. Oh no, you're, not, you're, you're too tired. You craft the axe. Davram. Not skilled enough. Oh dear. Are you skilled enough, Awena? No. Well, I... Should have thought of that. I guess I didn't realize that, though. Uh, so we can't do that today. Let's have someone else... We need some food as well. So we need this, and we need string. So we can make... It takes three hours. Does anyone have exactly three hours? No. Alright. You craft this. And then... We're gonna take turns fishing, I guess. Because I don't see any other... Oh no, we've got berries. We do have berries. One hour to harvest blackberries. But this seems like a very limited resource, the berries. And we've got five hours. So let's get... I'm assuming if you overfish in a game this complex, that you will run out of fish. Okay. So those are just one food each, even though they take two hours to catch. Okay. And we got a bear. So we have enough uh, food for everyone, but we are going to be sleeping outside, unfortunately. Not nothing to be done about it, I suppose. Um, don't die in the night, friends. <laughs> okay, is that wind right there? It could work more if we had a home to sleep. Yeah, I know. I'm working on it. Um, so is this wind like getting closer and closer to me? Is that like a warning? Uh, we still need an axe. Amela, Amela, you are our. Oh no, we need string again. Okay. Make 
a string. Can we have somebody else make the string? Yeah, we can. We need to have you make the tool. We need that skill. We need that one star fireplace skill. We need that survival skill. Okay, we've got the axe. Equip the axe. Sure. Chop down some trees. Character skill for work. Woodworking is faster for the job. Is anyone skilled in woodworking? Fishing. Fishing, survival, smithing. Well, it's gonna be you, Amela. Uh, cut down a tree. Three hours. Yep, you can cut down a tree. You now have apprentice level skill in woodworking. Let's share the burden a little bit. Cut down another tree. We need to cut down four trees. I think we need to get some more food first. Uh, fishy fishies. Should we just take all the berries first? Because that doesn't uh, take as much time. And then hope that the berries grow back. Okay. We've got enough food. Sweet. Two hours... How long does it take to cut down a tree? Three hours. You've got four hours, so you can cut down a tree. And then each of you can gather a berry. Oh, you had two hours left. I suppose we could make another fishing spear, but we only really need one, don't we? Because we can pass it be between, between folks. All right, sorry friends, but once again, you do have to sleep outside. I apologize. I know it's unpleasant. Wind's gonna come down, blow your house down anyway. Pickaxe would help a lot with those rocks. Let's make one. Okay, well, we have quests already. Right? There we go. Train one of your characters for survival skill until it reaches two stars. You can achieve this by crafting strings and tools. How are you doing? You're at 70%. You're at 0%, and you don't have any. So I guess you're the one. Um... Craft some, craft some string, I guess. How much did that give you? It gave you 10%. Uh, we need more, f let's get the food first. Come on, Ira, priorities. I know you want to do the quest. The food is more important. Um, fishies? Fishies. Get some fishies. A couple of fishies. I think we are out of, oh no, we've got one blackberry there. Actually, there are more blackberries in there. Uh, okay, we've got enough food now. So now, let's have you collect some flax for you to make string out of. I think that's enough. Oh, that is enough. You're up to you're up to two stars. Survival expert. Lovely. You now have access to new buildings. Build a waddle shack. You'll need straw, which can be acquired by harvesting cattail plants. I didn't see any cattail plants. Oh, there they are. They're back there. Cattail plant. Um, let's have you. Harvest. Ugh. It is quite difficult. Maybe if we zoom in. Oh my goodness. The zoom makes me a little bit dizzy. I don't know how much we need. How much do we need? What do we got? Small shelter, medium shelter, large shelter. Cramped waddle shack. For one person. Okay, but it's, it wants me to build one of these, so we need two straw. Only one person is going to be living in comfort here. It is very tough to select the thing you want to select, I will say that. Okay, um, we've got enough wood. We need two of these. Is that enough? That's enough. And we need... More fir branches. Two more fir branches. There we go. How long is this going to take? 18 hours. Oh my goodness gracious. Alright. Well, one of you is going to have a very comfortable place to sleep from now on. I can tell you that much. Right there on the beach. Why not? Um, so you do your one hour. We have enough food, right? Yes, we have enough food. You do your five hours. This is going to take a while to finish. Okay, uh, I guess we go to bed. Good night. Getting nervous that wind is coming. I want that wind to ruin our house. <laughs> our one house for one person. Okay, we need more food. Are there some more berries? A little bit more berries. Uh, I think that's it. I don't see any more berries. Wait, wait, there's one. I think that is it, though. No more berries. So now we gotta fish. 
Oh, we got a fish. Um, we don't need that much more food. We need two more. One. And there's one. Okay, now, everyone work on the house for one person to sleep in. Okay. And it's done! We did it! Now we have to survive the storm. Oh my gosh. Unlocked Neria. Neria? Neria. Why not? Noisy? Oh my gosh. This is so complicated. This is almost Dwarf Fortress-esque. Uh, reduce by one the time of all crafts. Blacksmith? Blacksmith! Oh my goodness. We're gonna get real into, into all kinds of technologies, aren't we? And Insomniac gets two less work hours every night. Okay. Confirm. Oh, I guess that's it. We only had to, uh, we only had to build that. We did not have to survive the storm. Uh, but you know what, folks? I think I'm actually already just about out of time on this one. I'm getting sucked into it, and the time has flown by. Um, Seeds of Resilience. So my my impression, my first impression, is is good. I like it. It's really beautiful. Um, the the interface isn't perfect. It's, it can be kind of tough to select the thing you want to select. Um, but the tutorial has been doing okay so far. I've been able to figure out what I need to do, and you know whatever complaints people have had in the past, I think the developers have listened and addressed it, which gives me a very good feeling. If they're paying attention to what people are saying and doing something about it, um, you know that's you can't ask for more than that. Uh, so uh, it is available. It is a full release right now on Steam, and I believe you can also get it on Itch. And uh, I'll put links in the description, as I always do. And I guess that's gonna be it for me. Um, but if this is not your type of game, this game isn't your cup of tea, you didn't like it, then don't worry, my friends, because as always, I will be back soon with another new indie game. And you never know, that one might just turn out to be your new favorite game of all time. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time.